What's going on guys, Coach Stoneface here, and today we are going to get into some of the random purchases I've made recently. So first and foremost, I won this in a group break of the um, clear cut. So it's a Kirby Doc UD Canvas Signature, so 55 to 77. It's pretty cool, 2019, 20 to clear cut. So not too bad, the, like, the break only cost me, I can't remember how much I spent on, like 50 bucks. I had this and then like a random single, which I haven't sent yet, but I did get this. So that's pretty cool. Uh, on top of that, we have Enforcers 2. So 12 tough guys per pack. I know this is an older product. I know there's not a lot of value in it, but there's five base cards, four authentic autographs, and three game used materials in each, um, in each one. I mean, I've seen a break with this stuff in it. It looks really cool, but there's no value in it. But I did overspend on it because I wanted to open it. So we'll do that. And also, I bought myself a binder for 1920 Series 1. So let's start with the binder just because there's three packs. It's going to be small. There's not going to be much in it. Um, but I want this for my 2019-20 Series 1 set. Um, plus, it was a good price. And, you know, why not, right? So open this up here, get rid of all the garbage. All right. So what comes with this one? So we have a sophomore sensation. So we did this on 2021. We had Kale McCarr. So this one is Carter Hart. Probably would have been better six months ago. But he is having a hard time right now. Um, checklist, poster, don't really care about that stuff right now. I'm just going to put this to my side. And we are going to open these three packs. Now the top one does feel thicker. I don't know if it actually is or if it's just the way it feels. But we'll leave it to the end. Um, I don't think we had anything good in the one we did for 2021. But I may be wrong. But obviously these are retail packs. So there's not much. You're not guaranteed anything. So let's go through. We'll see if we get. There's another checklist with Austin Matthews. And it looks like we have just a base pack. We'll go to the second one here. Hoping for at least one young gun or something. Now, the outside of the box, if you remember on the 2021 when we opened, it does say hot. Miles Wood Canvas. Not great. And a last pack, which I said felt thicker, but most likely just in my head. Because, yep, just in my head. All right, let's hope for a young gun or something. UD portrait of Brent Burns. So, nothing there. Pretty much just paid for the binder. But that's okay. So, there we go with that. Um, is this night? No, that's 2021. Got yeah, piles of cards on piles of cards here. So, put that over there. All right. Now, let's look at the enforcers. This, again, this is just a cool cool little box I'm, I'm pretty excited to open it to be honest again i know there's not much value in it um i think in the one i saw like just for the record like i paid uh 100 bucks plus tax for this canadian um and the one i opened i think they may have had like 30 40 dollars worth of value in it so when i say it's really not much value i i'd really mean there's not a ton of value with it oh so let's just go upside down here so again, we get five base cards, five or four autograph cards, and three game used memorabilia. All right, we'll put this here if it'll stay. So we can already see the top card, but what I'm going to do is before I grab it, oh, these nice little security tags or something are falling out. Okay, so I do have, oh my goodness, they're just everywhere. I do have a filler card. Oh, so I have two cards here, so I think these are both base. So we have Enforcers Take Teams, we got Gordy Howe and Ted Lindsay. And we also have Mike Peluso and Cam Russell. So there we go, I'm guessing these are just the base. It looks like it's a pretty big base, considering in fact these are 132 and 124. So nothing crazy. All right. So this one is Tales of the Tape. Uh, Danico versus Barube. So 
but the same age. Brube has a 600 more penalty minutes, and he's about five pounds lighter. So that's pretty cool. So we had two big tilts in 1988-89. Not bad. Alrighty. All right. Patrick Waugh versus Mike Vernon. Crease conflicts. So it talks about a game in 1997 there. Pretty cool. And we have Joe Coulter, league leaders. So he's only played 17 games. Well, in 80-45, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Some of these, when I watch the breaks, like there's so many different teams on them because they're all tag teams. So in the in the breaks, you're paying for a team. Um, so they were, you know, having to go back. Like some guys played like three games in the NHL and that's so, like, I mean, you're really not expecting too much. Although we just did get a Pugilistic Puck Stoppers, Patrick Waugh game used jersey. So that's pretty cool. Using a Colorado Avalanche jersey. That's nice. I'm going to put that in a... I mean, it would be better if it was his autograph, but I'm not going to complain at a Patty Waugh jersey card here as a goalie myself and a goalie fan. So that's pretty cool. All right. Who's we have here now? Chris Simon versus Darren McCarty. 17-25. So, it's pretty cool. Kurt Walker, instigator, enforcer game used jersey. I'm not even sure who this is, if I'm being honest with you. Kurt Walker, he looks like an older, older, uh, older player there. It's still pretty cool. All right, Mick Vakoda, autograph. Now, these look like they're... Oh no, it's a sticker. Still an autograph. So we got uh, Mick Bakota. Oh, Ted Lindsay. That's a nice one. Just a Ted Lindsay autograph is, is nice. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I'm excited for that one. That's like that's a cool autograph. I mean, probably not the the set or the subset that you want to have an autograph in, but still, that's pretty cool. Ted Lindsay there. Looks like we only have two more. So we got Darren Kimball autograph there. Darren Kimball. So those are five autographs total. So one, two, three. So we should be getting two more. No, four autographs, three memorabilia. So Ron Stern is our last autograph here. So that's pretty cool. Again, it said that's probably not going to have a lot of value, but it doesn't mean it's not cool. So we have four autographs, Ted Lindsay by far being the best, but we have... Darren Kimball, Mick Vakoda, Ron Stern, and then Ted Lindsay. I wish they were um, numbered, but they are not. Still pretty cool. And then, obviously, our, in terms of jersey cards, the best one here would be Patty Waugh. But Kurt Walker, pretty cool. And then a dual jersey here of Chris Simon and Darren McCartney. So not bad. Again, if you're looking to... to buy a box and 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 get a lot of you know money back kind of like what we did with series two uh not not the the best series for that but if we're talking about just getting some some cool cards i i don't think uh you can go wrong with with this one at all so awesome little break there i appreciate you guys sticking around and we will see what the next one brings us thanks a lot don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment and we will see you guys in the next one